In this training, we're going to take a look at sub-items and checklist field types inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Let's start by hopping into my screen. There is a lot to cover when it comes to sub-items and checklists. Here I have the sub-items already built, and you can simply find this by adding a new field and looking up the field type of sub items, as you see here. Once we're inside of sub items, we have the option to display certain information. Description, name, date, first created and last updated is the default, but you can make some alterations here. To make those alterations, either reorder them by clicking and dragging, or you can click on the gear icon here and actually look at an output of what your different sub items are gonna contain. Now, I wanna point out that you cannot remove the first created or the last updated elements from these particular sub items. These are default fields that exist for everything, but you can remove description, for example. So let's go ahead and just do that. Click on it as I did, and then select delete field. You can also drill in to modify the field settings if you wanna change how the display is set up for this particular sub item field. You can think of sub item fields as records within your records. So if that helps, that's what we're gonna be doing here. So once I'm happy with this, let's go ahead and save it up. And now when we go to access this, we will simply expand that particular field. And inside here, we can add new sub items. So let's go ahead and add a new item by clicking here. And I'm prompted to enter both a date in this case and also what the sub item is. This is sub item one. And I can add it to the list. And you'll see that then also once I've clicked out of here, and gone back in and saved those changes, I'm also then going to be added as the person who created and last updated that particular sub item. So this is a great way for you to add certain things that need to happen inside. So again, records kind of within a record, so to speak. So if I had two sub items, they would both live inside of my Acme client record. So I could just add that sub item here and this would be sub item two and the date for this, whatever that might be and we're good to go. That's sub items for you. Now let's take the next one checklist just a little bit further. A checklist is similar to a sub item with the exception that it's a little more robust for a couple of reasons. The checklist is going to allow us to create multiple different checklist items inside of our record. So in that sense, it's almost like a sub item where we have records inside of records. But the cool thing about checklists is that we can also add assignees and they will show up as work assigned to someone inside of SmartSuite. So just as we would otherwise assign a record or assign something to someone on our team, we can also assign the checklist items. And one of the most advanced features inside of checklist is it allows us to actually default to different checklist types based on other things that happen inside of our record. So for example, let's suppose that we were into building and we had a checklist for commercial builds and a different checklist for residential builds. Well, we could make it so that that checklist automatically populates in an automation based on the type of property, whether it is commercial or residential. And so SmartSuite is smart enough to know which type of property we have and then create the appropriate checklist for that property type. So pretty cool use case here. Notice on your options that you can elect whether users can create new entries, whether users can modify and delete the default entries, and if you're gonna require entries in the field. Also, of course, we can change the color around, but once we create this particular field, let's actually add some checklist items and see it in play. This will be item one. We can assign it to someone. I'll assign it to myself and make it due for today and save the item. And then I'll go ahead and add yet another one. This will be item two assign it to myself again, just so that I'm not spamming anybody and we'll give it a due date of tomorrow and save it up. Now what I wanna bring your attention to is what happens inside of that checklist field. Number one, it automatically tracks how many checklist items are completed, in this case zero of the total, and it's also showing us a percentage of completion. So if I go into this checklist and I say, hey, I completed number one, we're good to go. As soon as that happens, you see that that updates to one of two completed and or 50%. And when I'm all done here with item number two, same thing, I'm gonna be 100% complete and my progress bar is completely filled. So as you can see, the checklist item and the sub item fields give you a lot more advanced functionality inside of SmartSuite. 
If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.